Hi guys, we have a massively huge unboxing to do for um, a Louis Vuitton piece. And um, I'm really excited about this one. I've always wanted one of these and I think it came just in time. Let's talk about a cup of coffee. And my sister's ready and Let's get to it. And you're going to be like, I, okay. Now, I've got two of these big boxes because I accidentally ordered two. So, um, I do send things back from time to time. Very rarely when it comes to this size purchase. And usually it's only because... Um, I've accidentally bought two. Uh, uh, okay. So, let's let's do the let's do the little one first. I'm gonna go with the little one first. So this is from um 24s. Love love. Love me some 24s.com. And I am just obsessed with seeing what else they come up with. Um, and going back and getting pieces from them. Um, they've just been top notch. Their customer service, them, they have been spin their packaging, their products, everything have to say, um, and I'm not paid by them. Trust me, I'm not. <laughs> they paid by me. But, um, love me some 24S. And that's who this one is from. You'll see on the, on the packaging, it says 24S.com. A little Parisian pop-up. And little people. I just love that. And it's so cute. Um, that's the 24s.com box. Of course, when you order 24s.com Louis Vuitton, usually you don't get, and that's just a return label thing, usually you don't get the Louis Vuitton box and you get the, um, 24s.com boxing, which is good with me. Uh, their boxing is just as nice. And of course, 24s.com is owned by the same parent company as Louis Vuitton. Okay. Let's get our Louis on. You guys are going to love this little piece. Mademoiselle Rogers from Paris with Love and this is just my own gift receipt nothing fancy smancy like any warranty or card or whatever whatever lovely little hello for my piece love the box and we're like yes we just love playing with the box Um, the 24s.com ticket. I do that to y'all. I'm sorry. There we go. And I'll show that a little bit closer up in just a few minutes. So, because I'm pretty sure I, mean, I can't reach over. But this is my favorite place to unbox because the table makes it big enough of the, um, yeah. Anyway, so this is big enough to put a neat little box inside. 
You guys know how much I love, love, love my black on prompt leather card case. Well, this is kind of putting the cart before the horse. And so let me get to it. And there she is. Isn't she beautiful? Oh my God. And I'm gonna come around and, you know, and see if I can't, help me hope this, let me see a little better. This is the um, Louis Vuitton Lock Me wallet. And let's see if I can find right, that furniture pass on that chair, so I'm good. I can't stand these things. I always make it go off in the in the store and I'm gonna put this on here just so you can see Make with cowhide leather. It is made with cowhide leather. And, um, you have a little slot there, bill slot, card slot, whatever slot. It is imprinted with Louis Vuitton there. And that is so cool. I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has three card slots here in the back pocket. And it has a couple of holes that are a little odd in the in the bottom there. But it's a very, very nice, very nice leather. And I love how it has the trifold feature there. So that is the perfect, perfect wallet to go with any, any handbag that has the silver hardware. That is my kick to make it a little pop, just to have a little pop, just a little something, something. And I got this with my rewards from 24s.com. So um, I think with my um, gift voucher, because when you get over 500 points, you earn a voucher and they'll um, send you the thing, you click on redeem, and then you um, make a purchase um, with within, I think it's like um, 
24 hours. I'm not sure, but check the program and see um, rules, whatever. But um, I got this um, with um, um, I, what I purchased this. The points I got from this, I used to get this. Um, you make a purchase within 24 hours of receiving um, or redeeming your, your um, not gift voucher, what do they call it? Anyway, um, they send you a, a thing and you click on it and then you go and make a purchase at 24s.com. They uh, credit you 10% of uh, that purchase. If it's a Louis Vuitton item, they do 5%. They don't do it on Fendi. Um, but, um, so I got 5% back on this purchase to purchase this with. So, um, so yeah, uh, but anyway, they sent me, I think it was, um, in from a, a previous purchase they credited me on one but anyway um yeah so this was on sale I believe it was um and let me see my computer here and I will tell you guys what exactly What exactly the I was going to tell you guys exactly the amount. Okay. Here we go. I'm going to have some readers. $436. Um, so, $436 was the price of this little sweetheart. Um, from 24s.com and then I got some off of that um, which is an amazing deal you know if you get any kind of wallet or SLG from um, Louis Vuitton that um, uh, particularly the wallets get costly so it, I am just, and you know me, I'm not a hardware lover, um, but um, yeah, anyway, this one is beautiful, and, and this I expect it, okay, I really do, I expect it on a, on a lot, you know, you're not, you're not gonna keep those pristine, you may be able to keep the handbags, but the wallets, you, you just have to do the best you can do with them. So, that's our first little lovey. We get to take a look at the big piece now. And I know you guys are like, lady, just come on with it. I'm so sorry. I'm exhausted. <laughs> uh, I'm always exhausted. So, but yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me get my stuff put up here and we will get straight to the big piece of luggage. I have been wanting a piece of luggage um, from Louis Vuitton for a long time now. Um, whenever I go to the Bow and Biloxi, Mississippi, which is my home away from home, you didn't know. Um, I just haven't been 
this year or in a few years because I've got a lot going on. We usually we go down um, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, about 10 times a year at least and just not have even made it once in about nine months and I'm about to have, well about six months and I'm about to have Beauvage fits. Okay. We are not having Liv Ton fits today, that's for sure. Next. All right. Man, I'm in. Let's get to it. It's only about 11.30 or 12 o'clock here. I've been shopping all day and I didn't get home till late. I get supper done and or all that good stuff in the house lock down and get everything ready for bed before I can play with my toys. And aren't they that? Okay. And let's talk Chanel. I'm sorry, Louie. Um, that's why I get cheating on Louie, right? Um, this Chanel bag thing is such a mess with what's going on with Chanel and their quality. And I understand they all have quality issues and from time to time and stuff like that. And a handbag is a handbag, okay. It, but um, when it comes down to it, it's all degradable. And we hate to pay that for a handbag and it just fall apart. So I'm getting all geared up to put Hermie off. Put Hermes off. I've not purchased from them in a couple of months. And there's our pop up. But um, I had thought to put Chanel off until they got their straight, you know what I'm saying? And um, so I bought a couple of Danish pieces from a few years back uh, just to make sure uh, to check it out and see if that's something that I wanted and anything like that. And usually when I'm looking at a new brand or something, I'll look at the resale market, um, and retail, you know, resale market, because you can see what the bags look like. You know what I mean? You can see what they look like over time. And I've got to tell you, there are some flat, quilted leather, cracked up, pitiful looking handbags out there with two and three and five thousand, uh, seven thousand dollars price tags on. And I'm like, oh no, 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 no. If that's what my bag is gonna look like in a few years, I'm not investing all that in it. So, um, I've got a couple of test pieces coming. Uh, you know me, it may be vintage, but it's still from Neiman Marcus with tags on it. And um, we'll, we'll talk about that here in just, just a bit, and everything. I think I've got um, a pouch that's coming. That I'll probably do the unboxing on it tomorrow. And I'll have to wait about a week for um, the bag to go through authentication with eBay before they'll ship it to me and everything. But I don't think it'll be a problem. 
I think this is the situation where a lady bought the bag, put it in a closet, didn't use it, you know, and, and just later on said, hey, or something, but anyway, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that the bag is authentic on this one, and, um, I know my name is Marcus Tax. <laughs> anyway. Let's get to this unboxing today. But yeah, I think I'm probably going to hold off on Chanel or any other brand or anything that has a whole lot of hardware and stuff and a lot of lambskin and a lot of issues and everything until, until these companies get straight. You know what I mean? I feel like we're going through a time period and I think things will change in a few years. But, we'll see. Okay. And there's always Hermes. Oh, great. See why I was procrastinating. That's a lot of work. Um, mm, this is like my dream piece, and because it's the start of something, and um, you'll see what I'm saying. But yeah, it's the start of something, and meanwhile, it will go with some other things that I already have. And like I said, I'm not just running out here um, buying stuff to be buying stuff. I'm buying pieces that actually will coordinate and go together and it'll meet my needs. Um, you know, because um, I really want to use them. I really want to use these pieces. So let's see it. You know I'm flipping it out of the box, right? Um, from Paris with Love, and they will print, if you want them to, your name on the box, and I didn't, didn't go for that. I buy enough, enough of them that have the, and that's the receipt. Mercy. I can sit so badly on that one. But yeah, the Chanel bag that I ordered was a, um, a 2019 um, messenger bag, and it's a good size. And it's a very usable, wearable, everyday bag. And that is the only reason that I made that purchase. It has very minimal quilted. It's just got one little patch on the front, I believe. And minimal hardware. You know me, minimal hardware. Even the chain strap. No chain strap. It's a quilted leather handle. So, uh, yeah. I, I, I just... Uh, saw that one and I snapped it up so we'll see we'll see um, I know some really good shoe cobblers that could do amazing things with leather in leather bags oh wow guys oh my gosh and I just see I'm not even paying attention and just look how look how perfect okay is this not a me size it's a mini me. It's a mini. 
It's perfect for me. Look at this. It is perfect for me. Okay. Bellsman at the Beau Rivage in Biloxi, Mississippi. Take note. Take note. If you put this bag on the ground, I will hurt you. Do you understand me? Do not put this bag on the ground. And that is one of the reasons that I made this purchase is, um, and of course y'all know I'm joking. I am not a violent person in any way, but, um, I mean, I might, it, of course it would make you want to be <laughs> if, um, you got a bellsman, uh, throwing your good bags on the ground right in front of you and you're going, ah! yeah, yeah. So, um, that's the reason that, um, I went with this piece. I am not sure if this Bichetta is untreated or whether it is treated. And I will have to find out. But it is leather trimmed. And I believe that is Vichetta. I'm not sure if it is treated Vichetta or not. Um. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. This is, okay. This is just amazing. Let me get a dust bag. Of course, it does come with a bus, dust bag. I'm sorry, I'm being, being rude. It does come with a dust bag. And I'm gonna get back here and see if you guys can see what she looks like. Can you see, can you see? And I got it upside down, of course. And this one is the one hanger. And you can fold it up. Says Louis Vuitton here, Louis Vuitton here, Louis Vuitton here. Louis Vuitton here. It has a snap closure, as you can see. It has a LV printed um, zipper. It zips all the way down. Has a very nice canvas. Very nice. Let's see what we have in here. And here's our hanger. And our luggage tag. And I'm not sure if 24S
does stampin It is stamped with with Louis Vuitton. Put that there and take a look at our duty bag. the uh, tag to hold up the back of this and see if we can't get a good to get a good look at our card. Oh gosh, oh my gosh, oh, 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 I'm so ready, I am so very ready, and the little luggage tag has Louis Vuitton printed here, <clears throat> just in case you want to know, Louis Vuitton patties, and another thing I love about ordering from the 24s.com is the majority of the pieces are made in France. If that makes a difference to you, whatever. Um, and I don't know why. Maybe it's because they are there. But um, the majority of the pieces are made in France from, um, that come from 24s.com. This is my first one. It's my first luggage tag, guys. It's the first. Okay. Let's see. Where are we gonna put this? Let me get that finger. And we are going to. Um. I also wanted to show you. It says Louis Vuitton there. And that light just went out. It is so funny. I'm still working on getting these videos done and doing them and, and how to do them and how to do them right and everything. So, um, just be patient with me. I'm just doing good to be here, okay? And, um... Thank y'all for sharing this experience with me because I think it's great. I think it's great that we get to share things. Um, I'd like to um, give a shout out like to Super Jacob. He um, uh, influenced me with his trip to Australia and um, he has a, a, a new um, art documentary with Vivian Westwood, and you guys have got to check that out. So go over to Super Jacob and um, check him out. He is a darling. And then, um, see how beautiful, guys. I mean, just how beautiful this is. This is cool. This is really cool. I mean, this is everything I wanted it to be. Okay. And I'm sure there's a better place to put that, but I'm just gonna stick it on there for right now. Um. We'll put it on the handle. 
can't send them late. I'm just laying around, messing around with it now, guys. But yeah, I think it's really spacious. You know, if you want to do, and I can put a lot on this one hanger. You just don't know me. I can put like five sundresses like I have on on this hanger. Really, I sure can. And um, that's not a problem. Um, let's see, let me get it folded back up so I can show you some ideas that I have. Uh, or it. And then we'll have to play around with it and see what all to do. It feels like it or see. Ah, yes. There's a list of dawn stabbed hook here. You guys. I believe, yeah. The um, hangar goes. Through the loop. So. Just beautiful. And they come in one hanger and two hanger. There we go. And I think I'm just gonna leave that in there and just um, when I did that, the packing and we all just put the garments in there. And you put stuff in the bottom down here. And, um, all kind of goodness. And, um, I don't know if you could, like, buy these hangers extra, but I don't think putting an extra one on there will hurt a thing. So, yes, I mean, you can imagine the possibilities with this thing, right? Right. So, that's just gorgeous. I mean, a real stunner, what I mean. Just gorgeous, just gorgeous, and That is the unboxings for today. 
and um, if you've not subscribed to my channel, I'm Stephanie. Um, either come hang out with me and chat with me or um, check it out every now and then to see what kind of unboxing stuff I've got going on and um, if I've got any lately. And um, So, and to see if I got any kind of new unboxings. Uh, like I said, I've got a couple of Chanel pieces from Pre Love Market on the way. And um, then I have got, anyway, uh, I can finally get some Golden Goose on the way. And so check everything out. And um, you, want to subscribe and, and hit the notification thing. I don't even know if I have a notification bell, whatever. I don't get sponsored and I'm not a pro. So um, I'm just sharing the unboxings while I'm doing those and giving little reviews on it and everything like that and trying to share the love. Um, I'm all about sharing the love in the community. I want to help people make a, a purchase um, if, if they need to make a purchase um, you know, to give them a little bit more information like a lot of people have helped me. And, um, uh, if you've not seen, um, um, Candy Sweet Love for LV, she just bought the most gorgeous, most gorgeous. If you're looking for some eye candy, go see Candy's because, um, she's got this beautiful burgundy Chanel bag that she just purchased. And uh, you want to go check that out. But, um, and usually I don't do a whole lot of name slinging and stuff like that either. But, like I said, I will mention somebody from time to time if if, if I watch them a lot and, and you know, I show the life. But, um, so there we go, everybody. And thank you so much. And have a great day. I hope peace finds you. and. Um, enjoy the journey and um, safe travels. <laughs>